the state of adverts in this country, it, it grinds my gears. It grinds my gears. Back in the day, you had stuff like this. A little robot having a dance. You had a uh, bloody mental eyebrows attached to a child. A gorilla. You had a gorilla playing the drums. And cats with thumbs. I mean, nowadays we've got this. I mean, I know, I know it's hard times, and I'm not having a go at her, but I messaged myself in six months' time. Who cares about that? Who? And another thing that annoys me, Nation, they're a bank, you know? Nationwide, you're a bank. Stop. How are you? Shut up. Oh, God. And from oh, this one from O2. Oh. Hey, Father. How's the Empire? Son, is that you? <laughs> just kidding. How you doing? <laughs> oh, just kidding. Just kidding. That's fun. That is funny. Um, I'll tell you what is funny. The thought of everyone at O2's head office going, oh, oi, oi, nah. That is a good idea. That's, that's actually funny. Oh, shut up. Really is awful. So um, I went out, well, stayed in, and uh, and found the, the best five adverts of all time. And it, it's not down to my opinion. These are just the facts. I've watched them all, and these are the best five. Um, you know, they're a little bit outdated, but there's some good stuff in here. Have a look. You might like them. There you go. Bowser! Bowser! A little bit harsh, I thought. Poor little Bowser. Oh, sorry, sorry for coming inside. I wish somebody would invent a puppy that would wipe its own feet. Mrs. Davis, I've got the next best thing. A new invention from Procter & Gamble. It absorbs like magic. All right, call me a skeptic. Yeah, call me a skeptic, but I don't think, I don't think that's how it works. Come on! It's called Bounty, the new paper towel that actually attracts moisture. Feels different too. Go ahead, pop it. It even sounds strong. One of the more unfortunate themes of these commercials uh, is just sort of the general uh, degrading of women and women's intelligence, uh, which I hate. Like magic. But if you thought that was a little bit sexist, take a look at number four. Now let's go to a little town in New Jersey where things are really popping. Yes, there's a party going on at Mrs. Betty Martin's house. It's a Tupperware party, and it's really fun. Really, really fun! <laughs> the girls get together and meet their old friends and make some new ones. Then there's a demonstration by one of the Tupperware dealers who lives in your community. Watch her show the way to use Tupperware's patented seal. See? You put the seal on tight. I can't do it, Karen. Then down the center and lift the uh. Plan to have or attend a Tupperware party soon. Right, uh, moving swiftly on to number three. Uh, kicks off with a, a woman. Yeah, yeah, you dirty. I know what you're thinking, all of you. Oh, who's the next one going to be? Oh, yeah, you men disgust me. She's a child. She is grim, though. I mean, look. Oh, she's the spawn of Satan. This is beautiful Chrissy, the doll with beautiful hair that grows right down to her toes. Turn the knob and her hair is shorter. Press her tummy and you can make her hair grow and grow and grow Ooh. right down to her toes. So this advert makes it to number three purely because they made the thought of pulling hair out of a hole in the top of a little girl's skull almost seem appealing. Beautiful Chrissy. She's ideal. Alright, who loves a who loves a bloody laugh? Because you're in for a treat with this next one. How did they get in these crazy positions? Playing funny bones. The game for people who love to laugh. <laughs> it is funny. I'll tell you why it's funny. You uh so you, so you pick a card and then <laughs> whatever the card has on on the little picture, yeah. <laughs> It's silly, really. You you do you do that, and then <laughs> you just pick up another car. You do, they're doing it again. You just keep doing that. It's oh, it's a bloody riot, honestly. I don't. I'm not surprised they're laughing because <laughs> it is funny. <laughs> Pick up a funny bone card. Well, <laughs> oh, it's nice to have a little laugh, isn't it? Hey, eh? bless them. Well, there you go, number two. If that didn't make you want to buy funny bones, I don't know what bloody will. Funny bones is a Parker game. All right, we've arrived at number one, and I'm just going to let this one play because it's that good. Getting a new hat for the luncheon, Helen? What luncheon? Why, Thelma, don't tell me you've forgotten. Forgotten? Mm -hmm. I wasn't even invited. Why, I haven't been invited anywhere for weeks. 
What's wrong with me anyway? What's wrong, Helen? Maybe it's your breath. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. That's, uh, that's number one. That's the only reason it's number one. Just that one moment. It's a magical moment. And frankly, it's a nice happy ending as well. Helen sorts a horrible, putrid breath out, and uh, she's re-entered into the friendship group. So that's good. Um, yeah. So there's the best advert of all time. Fact. <laughs>